And uh, like like uh, like uh, the Bernie Bros say, no refunds. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I decided to to look through because it popped up a lot uh, on different social medias. The fact that a lot of people were upset. The the living Biden voters we were able to find were upset that their dreams have not come true. Oh um, no. Because no one actually looked at the man they were voting for, or his manifesto, or anything else. It was just mm. orange man bad. Yes. And in in that vein, I have some sympathy for these people in the sense of. Well, yeah, you got you got sold down the river, but I also have no sympathy in the sense of you get what you deserve because you should have checked out the candidate, you should have looked yeah. up his manifesto, you should have looked at his history. I mean, and, he literally looks like a White Walker. So. And well, it's not the way he looks. I don't really give a toss about the man. Oh, I do. But it's <laughs> it's the fact of like you know this guy is part of the swamp, always has been. Yeah. So this is another Hillary Clinton. Why are you promoting this if you're the resistance? And it's because you're not the resistance. I remember aren't you? literally. I mean, what didn't didn't. Contrapoints endorsed Biden as well. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure she I did. Imagine like, she dis- would. Yeah, no, yeah, there were many lefties who were like, oh, I guess you're going to have to vote for Joe Biden. It's like, really? You're going to vote for the avatar of the problem? I mean, Trump. For- Neoliberalism. Like- Trump, you know, no matter what you think of him, left or right, you know, whatever it is, right? He is at, lo- at least not the status quo that have caused a, a necessary political actor like Trump to appear, right? Trump is not the source of the problem. People like Joe Biden are the source of the problem. And everyone knows this. This is not secret. But anyway, sorry, carry on. So the, the, the first thing that popped up that I saw in regards to no refunds was this image kept coming up and it looks like a tweet from Black Lives Matter saying, I'm starting to get a feeling that the Democratic Party used us and then two face palms. This isn't real. This is a meme someone mm-hmm. made up. Um, but it but. comes from a place of truth, which is, if we can get the next one, we've covered this previously, that Black Lives Matter did actually tweet out that Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and so on and so forth had a civil rights meeting, and they did not invite Black Lives Matter. They were not interested in their opinion. To the best of our knowledge, uh, Joe Biden has yet to call Black Lives Matter back. So they're they're still sitting by the phone. Going to be sitting there a while by the looks of it. Um, so no, that 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 might be a meme, but it is a real meme that yes, you were used. Can't believe the guy who complained about racial jungle has not called you back. I I I don't want to quote biden might get the platform for it so that's, good point uh, let's keep moving <laughs> yep. so there's don't, don't ask about his position on gay marriage either or homosexuality itself or the clan i mean he, he's really done a 180 in the past few years Man. so this is not just a, a, a single you know blm being shoved to the curve a lot of people have been yeah. shot to the curve here so one that i didn't even think about was the insulin so this this guy here, um, who's the Alliance for Diabetes, congratulations, yep. Joe Biden. Oh, look at it. those love hearts, smiles. Um, and then he passed an executive order to yep. get rid of Trump's order that insulin was to be capped, and then uh, quite upset that insulin is going to increase but in price. What? Why, Joe? What was wrong with Trump's price cap on insulin? I, this is another. I mean, it's not. I mean, are they going to give me free market arguments? They're going to be like, "Well, hang on a second. <laughs> Listen, right? Listen, we can go back to the edict Martin of Diocletian. Right? Was right, right? Yeah, know? exactly. <laughs> price caps they just don't work, right? This you're putting artificial pressure on the market that manifests elsewhere. You know, no, of course not. Yeah, but I mean, the American system for charging for things like insulin is pretty absurd. By you know, you know, the rest of the world looks at America and we find it weird. Sure. Um, but this this is another fan who got destroyed by reality which is the no it's not on your side and then we have lauren wolf so this is an editor for the new york times and this is a great story so um her complaining about cancel culture not being real and this sort of caught my eye because i remember watching i think it was the the republican national uh what do they call it congress or convention uh, convention yeah yeah and they had a bunch of speeches and they kept bringing up cancel culture like the key the speakers kept saying we got to destroy cancel culture i was a bit like what is this like is this like a weird part of the internet becoming part of the mainstream politics again. It's like real. I didn't expect them to say it, mm. but no, it is. It is. Is this another antifa where it's just an idea doesn't exist mm-hmm. uh, until it does? So this lady saying it doesn't exist, and then she tweeted out, um, "Joe Biden was landing. I have chills in his private plane." Yep, which was against the New York Times policy of being impartial. Uh, and then what happened is that she uh, lost her job. <laughs> she was fired for not being. Uh, for being partisan hard to fathom all the talk of cancel culture on my timeline while i'm left without an income during a pandemic i'm not an ideology i'm a hard-working person who can no longer pay her bills wow now you know how literally every other person who's been cancelled feels you know the idea that she's not some kind of ideologue well it depends on your definition but you're clearly partisan so yeah you did you did do that thing um and again an, an injustice for your enemy is still an injustice but you also get what you deserve lady because you said this isn't real, this doesn't happen, and then when it happens to you, she then deleted her account. She deleted her account. Unreal. Yeah. 
She couldn't take the heat, which is like, okay, yeah, yeah, isn't this bad? Isn't this a horrible thing that happens? Yeah, in our culture but now? can we go back to the previous tweet a sec, John? Because, they, like, I love this, right? I'm not an ideology. I'm a hardworking person who can no longer pay her bills. That, I mean, that could apply to literally every single, quote, far right person who has been cancelled. These were, you know, hardworking people who can no longer pay their bills because well, of a mob culture. You know, who's, who's TR? The guy who well, shall yeah, not be yeah, mentioned. Yeah, yeah, Voldemort, yeah. Yeah. How, we'll talk, how, we'll talk I mean, about he's, got, he's got two kids, three kids? Yeah, I don't we'll, know. yeah, yeah. We'll talk about him and, you know, in a bit. Don't know if she has any kids. Yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, let's carry on. So the, the next thing there was the fact that Joe Biden, of course, saying he had a plan in eight months. We'll get yep. to this pandemic. Donald Trump. I couldn't find it. that tweet. Um, but uh, then we had the the the, uh, the bad moment, which is you mentioned that. Uh, no, there is no plan. <laughs> the, the, there's nothing we can do for the next several months. So anyone who was hoping that he would do things on, on COVID, well, there is nothing because it's already being done. He's doing his best to centralize power in the presidency. But, you know, this constitution. It's that's, a nightmare. That's about it. Um, what can we do? Yeah, so then the next one is the... the uh, if we can get the next one up. So that's him saying that the economic crisis is also deepening. It's not going to get better. <laughs> so people thinking that, I don't know, he was going to you know, <laughs> wizard the economy back into being. I mean, if you're going to cancel loads of jobs through fiat, then yeah, sure, of course it's not going to get Except better. there is something he could do. This is actually kind of a lie, the idea that the, econom the economy's screwed in the United States. Well, you know, it's only screwed if you keep screwing it. Yeah. If you open it up, you will get a better economy. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the automatic thing that leaps to mind about this is, well... What did Trump do? Maybe you could consider doing that. You know, what's well, it's not that because as we we mentioned, the thing that really killed it was the the lockdowns and COVID. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, there's another lady who's having Boa's regret here, Dr. Naomi Wolf, <laughs> talking about the fact that oh oh Biden's pro lockdowns. I had no idea. Um, so she said, if I had known that Biden was open to lockdowns, as he now states, which is something historically unprecedented in any pandemic and a terrifying practice, one that won't. Sorry, one that won't ever end because elites love it. I would never have voted for him. Oh. Um, and then Ian, Ma Ian Miles Chong in the comments that we told you. Yep. <laughs> like, I don't know how you could have not known this, but that's the thing you could do to save the economy, which is, you know, yeah. stop, stop and, the lockdowns. And as Cuomo's got to the point where he's like, look, we just have to open up. We have to do something. And now that Biden's present, they can have like 25% capacity in their restaurants. I, and I love how no one's noticing this. Like, yeah. you know, Cuomo coming out there. Uh, guys in California saying we need to open up. Yeah. And just all of a sudden, the narrative's gone. Like, uh, no, yeah. Biden's in office, now we can just ignore the CNN idea. CNN have removed the Daily Death Tracker from not important uh, reporting. Anymore. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? But there's also the, the National Guard, as you said. So this, this is where I got the figure of 7,000 National Guard troops staying in D.C. to guard against... What? MAGA? MAGA? Where are they? They didn't come out on Inauguration Day. Um, if so, if it's uh, a couple of lone wolves... You have the Secret Service, you have yeah. the DC police, you have the FBI, you have the CIA. Uh, but no, you need 7,000 troops to continue protecting DC. Well, I mean, it's it's rather hard to intimidate the American public without a sizable extended military presence. Yeah, I wish I had a, a spare shoe like Ben Shapiro does. Because yeah. I remember he used to do the, the whole, you know, shoe on the other foot and hold the shoe. <laughs> like, if Trump had done this, what would be said about what's going on here? You know, if Trump yeah. pulls in military units, 7,000 of them, to continue protecting the capital... I'm in in well, the face of no scream threat. fascist, obviously. Yeah, this would be a coup. This would be fascism. Blah blah yeah. blah blah blah. So and, oh, just just, just uh, since we've touched on that, just to have a quick inter interjection. I'm so sick of people going, "Ah, we topple the fascist dictator." It's like, that's not how it works. You you absolutely do. I I mean, I can't think of a single fascist dictator that was elected out of office. No, no, I haven't got one. So just you didn't you didn't you know if there was no if dictator you, if you voted them out they weren't a dictator yeah this is this is definitionally true but anyway sorry carry on I just, just love the idea of like you know yeah. I don't know Xi Jinping's worried about the election oh yeah cool. <laughs> what's what are my poll ratings <laughs> <laughs> anyway and then you, you yeah. mentioned fracking but I wanted to go into this a little bit deeper so yeah, yeah. you know um, if we can get the next one up this is Kamala Harris saying Joe Biden will not ban fracking that's a fact <laughs> just even though there was a video of her saying there is no question I'm in favour of banning fracking uh, of course that's that yeah. doesn't make sense and then we have the yeah the next one here was the unions so the unions one of the, one of the unions yep. you mentioned were the plumbers and pipe fitters union mm -hmm. uh, endorsing Vice President Joe Biden for president uh, on the basis that I, I don't I don't understand their reasoning he's not own. Trump <laughs> just or, not orange man yeah and then of course the next one is is them going ah ah he he stabbed us in the back um I can't believe it guys it's like well what what were you expecting like he literally has a whole section about you know the green industrial revolution yeah. which is about banning uh <coughs> fossil fuels he literally has I'm going to stab you in the back written on his <laughs> manifesto and you went yeah that sounds good I'll sign up <laughs> Jesus and um 
it's it's not just the Keystone XL pipeline which is harming the fact that that's that's my understanding is that's fracking in Alberta being dragged down so that's you know, yeah. him going after that but also oil and gas in New Mexico so this is a 60 day uh, I don't know if you say that word moratorium on mm-hmm. new oil and gas leases in New Mexico and uh, there's there's some concern about this so the the locals are pretty, that's how we make money pretty peeved that basically their money is about to disappear oh yeah that was another thing as well I, sorry to like through the the, the XL uh, Keystone XL pipeline but they're like oh it goes through native lands it's like yeah well who, who, who are they going to be employing then natives so you've just robbed a load of you know, Native Americans of money. Indians do not deserve to have money. No, this is the white man's money. <laughs> it's tainted. You know, go back to living in the woods or whatever you people do, yeah. says Joe Biden. So there's a statement here from a local mayor who's who's being screwed and the <laughs> local people being screwed because they're, they're worried this isn't going to be 60 days because 60 days is yeah, pretty yeah. bad. But they, it's this... 60 days now, <laughs> but then it was two weeks to flatten the curve then, wasn't it? You know, so. Yeah, so they're, they're convinced this is actually going to be a, a permanent thing. On federal lands, you won't get any more drilling. So he says, eliminating... <laughs> Eliminating drilling on public lands will cost will cost thousands of New Mexicans their jobs and oh. destroy what's left of our state's economy. You can see the language there. Destroy what's left of it. Like, we're already in a situation, Biden. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> you guys voted Democrat. Like, Trump was like, hey, let's make some money. So I you wanted, guys were like, no. I want to show a graph in New Mexico because I found this interesting, which is... Um, have you not got the... Oh, sorry. This is the the voter uh, yeah. data before we get into that. So this is uh, New Mexico, how they voted, mm-hmm. and I just wanted to remind people. Yep, they voted Joe Biden, fifty four percent. So yeah, forty three percent Trump. Eh, you are uh, the you, libertarians weren't even the deciding factor here. You, you did get what you deserve there, mate. Yeah. Sorry. Um. So the next one is uh, the graph I was mentioning. You can see here this is oil production in New Mexico, mm. and uh, so where where does it start skyrocketing there? Mm. Weird. Have Just a guess. 2016, roughly. 2017. Skyrockets up. And th- th- this, this, you know, all part of America being energy independent. Looks like that gravy train's over. And it's it's the point of, okay, so all of three of these actions um, are him going after the production of oil. Like, yeah. I, I had a message from a guy, and I got a lot of comments when we were talking about fracking before. Uh, the guy wanted to explain how fracking works, and some comments saying it's bad because of these reasons, it's good because of these reasons. Sure. And quite frankly, I don't, uh, you know, I'm sure that it's better people to talk about fracking. Yeah. I don't care about the process in the slightest. Yeah. In the same way, I don't care about the process of drilling just to get standard oil. No one cares about that. The point is that you get the oil. The oil is the thing that's important, obviously, because the whole the whole thing about oil and the reason it keeps coming up every conversation is because it what keeps it's what keeps America out of foreign wars. Like all of the wars in the middle in the Middle East, what are those about? Well, well, oil, obviously. We, we, you know, people say, oh, but they want to set up friendly regimes in Iraq so the region can be better. It's like, yeah, but why do we even care about the region? Yeah, exactly. Because of the oil. So fundamentally, that's what it comes down to. And this is the point of these things are not unconnected. So the green industrial revolution and blah, 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 blah. Well, it doesn't seem to be coming, but what is coming is the shutting down on the production of oil yeah. within the US. And what's that going to do? There's going to be a larger demand than there is supply, and we're going to have to get that oil elsewhere. So how are we going to get it? Send troops into Syria? By force. And there's, there's Jack Pozobiak <laughs> pointing out here that these things are connected. So mm. Biden cancelled the Keystone Pipeline, banned fracking and drilling permits, and then sent a large military convoy into Syria, as we mentioned. Yeah. Are you paying attention? Like, these things are not unconnected. Yes. And America is back, baby. And I, I wanted to sum this up with the last person who's having a buyer's remorse, which is some lady saying, I didn't vote for this. I didn't vote for war. What's going on? <laughs> Biggest fear of a Biden presidency was foreign policy. In just three days, he's authorizing troops escalation in Iraq and Syria. I didn't vote for this. Did you? Has corporate media mentioned oh, this? No. Is your representative funded by MIC like mine? So she's complaining that, you know, how oh. dare he be bustering up the military to... Uh, presumably end up going into another foreign war to Jen Perlman, I'm so, so shocked that this is your red pill moment. That you got lied to by the politicians and the media working in concert together specifically to deceive you. This yeah. is this is your red pill moment, Jen. I don't know, I didn't vote for this. Well, yeah, you did. So we can get <laughs> the next one up. It's just her opinion. Ban fracking. Hashtag Green New Deal. Well, well, what did you think was going to happen? Like Nothing. Like, we have to get the oil. America needs hot oil. There is and... no cause and effect. That's the point. Though. That is exactly the point. They think there is no cause and effect. Mm. You know, they think, oh, we'll just ban that, and then that's it. Problem solved. Issue goes away. Nothing else happens. Like, and there's, there's the point. I, you know, some people complaining about, you know, fracking uh, creates earthquakes. Apparently it does. Um, uh, apparently there's some issue with the, the water it can set on fire. I've seen some arguments for and against that uh, mm. being natural. Um, but I don't really care. Neither of those things are foreign wars. Like, foreign war or, you know, mm-hmm. Oklahoma shaking. Yeah. Well, 
one of these things is less destructive than the other. But there we go, that's that's all the people having buyer's remorse, and I'm, I'm sad to say to all of them, uh, no refunds, sorry. Mm -hmm.